Father Shem Yamshai, Father Shem Rakak Wadash, our double honors to the apostles, our elders. All right, this is me to Zion One. I got up with these brothers today, you know, and the Spirit is on us to go into it, man, to suck. Yahweh Shai said, What? We, we knock on the door? We knock on the door? Matter of fact, get that in Revelation. Uh, what I want? Uh, Bring that out. Revelation. Behold. Uh, That's the brother? Yeah. Revelation 3 and um, 20 says, Behold, so I stand at the door. And not. Hey, let's read that again. Come on. Revelations 3 and 20. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. As how was Shai speaking to the men of the Lord? He says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. What does that mean? Matter of fact, when all of us, when we was in the world before we came into this truth, right? To have what, the, the men of the Lord, the Lord, how did the Lord knock? He comes to the door and knock. How? By, by us hearing this word, hearing the prophets. The teacher's pushing this word, and the spirit, you know, you, you hear that voice of the Lord saying that, look, this is the way, you know? That was how, how we shot. Um, matter of fact, you got the scripture where you left off at? Yeah, I'm going to get yeah. Revelation chapter, what you was reading, Zika? Read, read what you got. Revelation 2 and 20. Go ahead. Um, oh, Revelation 3 and 20. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. That's Yahweh Shai saying, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. How is he knocking? By the way of this word. Mm -hmm. Us hearing this word, that's the Lord knocking. Go on. It says, I stand at the door and knock. If oh, any wow. man hear my voice. If any man hear my voice. Because, uh, for example, we'd be out there on the highways and the byways pushing this word. And the only one that's going to hear the word and come into this fold are the ones that hear Yahweh Shai's voice. Because when you out there teaching this word, it's the Lord knocking. Not everybody going to open that door. Two-thirds of our own people ain't going to open up that door, inshallah. Yeah, we're done. And like I said, any of y'all got something to chime in or add, you know, feel free, man. You know, this is, a, this is an open forum. So it says, Behold, I stand at the door back. Yeah, push it back and door. knock. There it is. If any man hear my voice and open the door. And who's going to hear the voice of Yahweh Shai? The elect. If any man hear my voice, go on. Matter of fact, find that scripture for me where it says, you hear a voice. Yeah, I'm going to read it. Isaiah 30. Yeah, Isaiah 30 and... Matter of fact, let him read this again. Okay. And then you're going to go in there and, 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 and answer it with that one. Okay. Go okay. hold, I stand at the door and knock. So our Lord and Savior, his name is Yahweh Shai. His name oh, is not oh. Jesus Christ, by the way. All right? He's a black man. Our Lord and Savior. The one who's going to come back with those chariots to deliver the elect out of this hellhole. All right? And I'm going to say this right now. This is June 29th, 2022. If you can't look around here in America and around the world, but mainly here in America, because America is that Babylon the Great that you read about in the Bible, which the Lord is going to come back to, this, to destroy. If you can't look around and see this place as wicked as all hell, it, it just had the fucking pride march, right? Matter of fact, um, Elder Apostle Tahar just did a, he did a show last week showing that pride march, all the wickedness in that. And that's America in a nutshell, man. Mm hmm any uh, the so-called white man anything anything that's contrary to the ways of the lord is what he's with total wicked he's the wicked yeah. and he's doing what he's supposed to do because he's the wicked we're not mad at him he's supposed to do what he's doing all right it shows you more and more oh it's, 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 it's yeah, it? good, beautiful good, good. yeah i see the brothers chiming in on on the chat hey, shallow one all you brethren out there too man oh shallow one man let me with um with um priest lamad all right me to zion one Barack Gabbar and the brother, say your name, brother. Zakar. Zakar. All right. We out here through the spirit of the Lord. We just we're supping right now, man. That's right. Because the, the brother Zakar said, hey, what, what you guys want to eat? We want to eat the bread. Yeah. Okay, how about you? So we're eating right now. We're supping. Yeah. Feasting. Feasting. That's right. And we ain't, we ain't got no set topic. We're just going off the dome through the spirit of the Lord, man. So go back into um, Behold and stand at the door and knock, man. If and behold. I stand at the door and knock. This is our Lord and Savior speaking. Go on. If any man hear my voice, go and on. And open the door. And open it. And the ones that are going to hear the Lord's voice and open the door are the elect. The rest ain't going to open the door. They're going to go into damnation. They're going to go into, dis into destruction. Go on. It says, if any man open the door, I will come into him. He will come into him. Go on. And we'll sup with him. And uh, you better believe you how Shai is supping with us right now. 
through the spirit, through his word. This is the supper right here. We supping right now through the spirit of Yahweh Shai. Right? That was it on that one? It says, and I will sup with him and he with me. Right, we're supping with Yahweh Shai right now. Teaching you brethren out there. Exhorting you brethren out there, man. All right? It's high time to wake up out of sleep. Hey, we're living in, brother, the time, all this, all this wicked, wickedness is at a full, at a full cup right now. Yeah. And we're not mad. We're happy. That's right. That's, that shows us our Lord and Savior is on his way back, man. He's on his way to do, to do damage, to destroy this place. All right? That was it on that one? So, um, Paul, what you got there, bro? Isaiah 30 and 20 says, Though the Lord give you a bread of adversity, the bread of adversity. What's the bread of adversity? The hell. Right? We 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 turned our backs on the Heavenly Father. Right? And as a punishment, we had to go through what we had to go through. The hell. Being under the being under the so-called white man, being subjected to his wicked ass laws, being subjected to all principalities on the wicked on the left hand side. Right? Being subjected to women. As the scripture says, the um, what was that? On um, the new thing, the, the Lord shall bring in a new thing. The woman shall surpass the man. That's 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 grieving. That's grievous to you, to you, man, or to a real man anyway. That's grievous. But all that is a part of what? That bread of adversity, the hell. Go on. And the water of affliction. And the water of affliction. Go on. Yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. And the teachers are out there. They've been out there, man. They've been out there for decades, over a half a century, all right, pushing this work. They're not pushing a corner anymore, meaning they're not hidden. No, they're not hidden no more. They're out there in your face. But then I shall see thy teachers. Your eyes shall see them. And you're seeing the teachers right now from the apostles on down, man. And other brethren out there that's teaching the right way, teaching the words of Yahweh about Shem Shai, but teaching it the right way. And your eyes see them. Whether you see them on the streets, or you see them on the YouTube, or I mean, I heard certain brothers got stuff on Instagram and Facebook, wherever. You see the men of the Lord. Go on. And that ears shall hear a word behind thee saying. And your ears shall hear a word behind thee saying what? This is the way. This is the way. That's that, that, that's that knocking on the door. Right. That's how shy knocking on the door. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice, right? Mm -hmm. He's gonna open up and he's gonna come in with that brother and sup with him. What? Sup and how? Going teaching the word, learning the learning the learning the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Heavenly Father. Alright? Learning who you are. Learning who are because remember, you Negroes, you Latinos, Native Americans out there, you don't know anything. You think the white man is your guy. I don't care what denomination you call yourself into. It all goes back to that slavery plantation Christianity. I don't care what denomination. Oh, I know Adventist. He Baptist, but I'm Adventist. You're all the same. You're all equal in wickedness, following way. Go on. This is the way. Walk ye in it. This is the way. Walk ye in it. Walking in what? His law, his, um, his law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability. Because again, we're not going to be saved out of here by following the laws because we can't do it. Right. It's impossible. But you got to be saved out of here through the faith of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Through the faith of Yahweh Why Yahweh Shai. That's how we're going to be saved up out of here. Go on. When you turn to the right hand and when you turn to the left. When you turn to the right hand and when you turn to the left. That was it on that one. You hold something, Lamont? Yeah, I have to. Bring it on out, brother. You can bring it up nice and slow and edify it. If you want to if you want to chime in and break it down, you can feel free too. Okay, you mentioned about how the cup is overrunning. Cut. Um, second Ezra 15 and 6. For wickedness had exceedingly polluted the whole earth. Tell me wickedness is not <laughs> read that again. <laughs> second Ezra 16. Because if you can't see this, you are a bozo. The Lord ain't dealing with you. The Lord ain't even knocking on your door right now, man. Right. Your door, your door. You got a fucking, um, you got like a solid, uh, 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 what do you call that shit? Um, um, soundproof. Uh, not soundproof. What, what, what that stuff you, you pour? Yeah, you got a concrete, you got a concrete door. <laughs> All right? 
If you can't see it, this place is wicked. Read that again, bro. Right. Second Nephi 15 and 6. And six. For wickedness had exceedingly polluted the whole earth. Tell me, wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth. Last week they had the gay march. With all them freakazoids and weirdos. Right? Then at the same time they're telling you that the monkey pox is poxing up these fags. And they still, like, in other words, sure the, this is how you know the so-called white man is wicked. He ain't going to tell you being a faggot is wrong because you get AIDS and monkey pox. Right. He's telling you you can still be a faggot, just take your monkey pox vaccine. Parabolic talk. Sure. Oh, Slovakia. Yeah. <laughs> Slovakia. You know? I don't think they take this one down, we'll put another, put another channel up yeah, there. Yeah, they yeah. drop, they drop effing dead. <laughs> All right? <laughs> For real. You know? Monkey, your monkey pops out your socks. All right? <laughs> but before they, they try to they try to hold it back that it's only the homos was getting it. Right. We got that from the um the the alter, alternative news. Right. Was bringing it out that um monkeypox only gay people were getting it. Yeah, right. Yeah. But now, right when the parade, right up before the pride parade came out, they gave out a, a warning to all you homosexuals out there to take the take the monkeypox shot because they know you go because they know you're gonna go out there to the parade and you're gonna be boogie woogieing all night long in your wickedness. So take that monkey pox shot. All right? But according to the scriptures, the Lord gave you monkey pox, AIDS, hepatitis B, all of that. All right? Because he ain't with no homosexuals. God don't love homosexuals. That's nowhere in the Bible that says that. You tell yourselves that because you're the wicked. And the question somebody should ask is, what God are you talking about that love homosexuality? You're talking about, you're talking about um, the Lord of the Flies. You ain't talking about the Lord of the Bible. Go ahead. Right. Yeah, and then go, go back to your effing denominations. They all got, they, now they got, they got gay priests, lesbian preachers. That's how you know they're all wicked, man. Yeah. But you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you still follow it because you're wicked. And you're wicked, man. I didn't see the article yet. Matter of fact, I think the brothers in Jamaica, GMS um, Portland, did a show on it a couple weeks ago, last week. There was a situation over there in Jamaica where a dude killed his whole family and chopped all their heads off. Man. Those are niggers. That's how we know two-thirds have to go, man. You're wicked as all hell. Mm. Matter of fact, at that gay parade, it was mostly you niggas and Latinos out there um, um, strutting your stuff in the gay parade. Mm -hmm. So more and more, so are any of you guys out there have, that got a problem with the two-thirds being destroyed, the Lord ain't dealing with you at all, man. Because you ain't spiritual. The Lord didn't come to you and knock on that door. Go on. And that hurtful works are, are fulfilled. And the hurtful works, all these, all, all this wickedness. See, the Lord didn't move on this man at, at, at um, any time in the past because he had to fulfill, they had to fulfill the, his lot. He had to fulfill the prophecies. Mm -hmm. His hurtful works had to be fulfilled. And we're close to that time. That's why we're letting you know that, look, Yahweh Shai, any, any given time, no. Well, we're waiting for the mark to be implemented mandatorily. Because we know the market, we, we know the MOTB is out there. It just has to be mandated to where everybody has to have it. They have to, you're going to be forced to have it in order to live or do your daily, your, your daily routines. Eat, drink, pay bills, whatever. So we know we're very close to that time. Go on. Therefore, say the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more. So the Lord ain't going to hold his tongue anymore. That's the time we're living in now. He's going to move in and destroy this place. America is going to be destroyed by way of thermonuclear fire. All right? In, in case you didn't know, now you know. Go on. As touching their wickedness. As, and the Lord's going to touch your wickedness. As touching your wickedness, man. Go on. Which they profanely commit. Tell me they ain't profanely committed last week at the gay parade. Yeah. They profanely committed. That they profanely commit. And I'm just going there, but there's many, many, all kind of wickedness y'all doing. We started with that one because that just happened last week. And you're really pushing that all through. And you're pushing it hard. You watch any commercial that they push um, homosexuality in there. If you're watching the news and they're talking about a guy that just got shot in his head, you look on the banner behind, uh, below the screen, Pride Month, yeah. with, the, with, the, with the rainbow. 
And the rainbow, the Lord ain't set no rainbow to be a, a, a theme for the homosexuals. The rainbow was supposed to be a sign that he wasn't going to destroy the earth with water anymore, but he's going to destroy the earth with fire. That was a sign. After, after, the, after, the, great, after the great flood. The Lord never told no fags to take that and make that make it their um their their their, their signet. Go on. And it says um uh, which they profanely commit. Neither will I. What's the word profane mean? Outside the temple. Outside of what? Outside of this. So to be a homosexual is profane. To be with the so-called white man system as a whole is profane. Thinking that the so-called white man is God. That's profane. And the majority of our people believe that. That's why they look at us like we're a bunch of bums. They hate, they hate us because why? We're coming against their, their homeboy, Esau. And they want Esau to continue to rule in his wickedness. They're comfortable in this wickedness. That's what Isaiah the 31st chapter. Mm -hmm. All right, go on. Neither will I suffer them and those things. So, so in other words, the Lord is tired of your asses, man. He ain't gonna suffer this shit no more, man. Go on. In which they wickedly exercise themselves. You wickedly exercise yourselves in what? Homosexuality. You wickedly exercise you wickedly exercise yourself in the what? Abortion. They ain't even a bet they didn't even abolish this shit. Y'all was going ape shit. There's mainly you black ass women. Mm -hmm. Talking about oh, it's mainly against us colored girls. Y'all kill more to the babies than anybody else. Yeah. What do you mean it's against you colored girls? They created it for you colored girls. What was her name? Margaret Sa Sanger? Sanger? Right? She created that shit just for you colored girls. So the mere fact they tell you to stop killing your babies, that's, uh, that's war against you? Show you where your head is at. That's why you people deserve death. And you're going to get it. You're going to get it. Go on. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth cry unto me. Who's that? That's the elect of Israel. Read that part again, the innocent. Read that again. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth. That's the men of the Lord. And we cry to the Heavenly Father. We, matter of fact, get me that now. Hold, hold that. Get me Amos 9. Mm -hmm. You know, the side, side of crying. It's the book of... Amos chapter 9 verse 8 it says behold the eyes of the Lord God are upon the sinful kingdom that's right it says let's lock here it says behold the eyes of the Lord God are upon the sinful kingdom oh I'm sorry I'm crying no, 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 read that that's a good one you got there that's okay. spirit. read that behold the eyes of the Lord God are upon the sinful kingdom right what's the sinful kingdom America the Lord, you better believe the, uh, that gay, the gay parades that I had all over the country. You better believe it's Ezekiel. I want to say, Amen. Yeah, it's yeah, that's cool. But um, the, all these gay parades I had all throughout the country, you better believe the eyes of the Lord was watching it. The eyes of the Lord was all on it, man. He sees all your wickedness. Read that again. Behold, the eyes of the Lord power are upon the sinful kingdom. America, go on. And I will destroy. That wasn't me to sin, transgress the law. Everything America is about is totally opposite of what the Bible is about. And it's ironic that they said that, look, oh, the Bible is the, that's the book of the land. That's the law of the land. Right? But do they follow anything in the Bible? Hell no. They go against it. The scripture says that a homosexual is supposed to, is supposed to be put to death. What do they say? No, preserve them. Matter of fact, give them more rights than regular people. Mm -hmm. and, that's what, and that's what you see. Go on. And destroy it from off the face of the earth. The Lord's getting ready to destroy this place off the face of the earth, America. And your whole and your whole and your whole system, your ways, your philosophies, it's all gonna be destroyed. Because what's gonna happen is it's gonna be a new heaven and a new earth through Yahweh Shai and the nation of Israel. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and the nation of Israel. From the elect on down. Go on. Saving that, I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob. 
right, set up the Lord. Right, he's going to utterly destroy the house of Jacob. Why? Because of the elect. Two-thirds of our own people are going to be destroyed, but the elect are going to be saved of Israel. The one And the one-third. Go on. That was it. What you, I got something real quick. Ezekiel? Yeah, hold that. Uh, this is supposed to be Pride Month. Uh, this is Proverbs 8 and 13. And you can go into it, bro. Okay, God. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil. Right, so all oh, you guys are haters. Read that again. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil. We hate all evil. Homosexuality is evil. The so-called white man ruling period is evil. All right? Matter of fact, and Maccabees tell you that when they came into power, evils were multiplied on the earth. Mm -hmm. All right? Women over men, that's evil. Children having power over the parents, that's evil. Now they're trying to come with this thought, with thought crimes. If you think a certain way, they want to they want to bar you from certain things or damn near lock you up, right? That's evil. Pedophilia. Pedophilia, which they're pushing hard, mm -hmm. is evil, <laughs> right? Go on. It says the fear of the Lord is to hate evil. And we hate everything about the so-called white man and his setup. Pride. Pride. We're in Pride Month. Pride Month. And the scripture said, the pride of your heart has deceived you. Mm -hmm. Go on. And arrogancy. Ar that's the so-called white man, the proud. Read that for the topic. Come on to it again. Um, Proverbs 8 and 13. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil. Pride <laughs> and arrogancy. Pride and arrogancy. Pride, gay pride, and all kind of so-called white man's pride, the woman's pride, and arrogancy. Go on. That was it on that one? Um, just a little bit. Um, and it says, and the evil way. And the evil way. And everything about this place is evil, is the evil way. Yep. Matter of fact, now is, is, is we finished? Um, and the forward mouth. The lie. forward mouth. That's people coming up against the word of the Lord. Right? Like you got this guy, uh, vocab and, all, and every, everybody else. Everybody else coming with that forwardness, man. We hate it. And we have every right to hate it. So let's save the Lord. Since you said that, uh, real quick. Psalms 136. No, sorry. Psalms 139. And... Bam. 19. It says, surely... No, I'm sorry. Uh, 21. Psalm 439, 21? Yeah. Go ahead. Do, do I, okay. I'm going to start at 20. But they speak against the, thee wickedly, thy enemies take thy name in vain. And it's, it's, yeah, they, and they're doing it now. Hey, the, the name of the Lord is out there through us. And you got our enemies using his name and taking it in vain. Making fun of it. All right? Yeah, you, you, you do think of this, this whole thing is a, you got guys out there that think that this thing is a sport. Like you got this dude out there, um, his name Sean Nigga. Yeah. yeah, you got you, you follow your how old and your how old shy. Frank. Like, 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 Frankie. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like this is a, like this is some kind of joke. That's taking the name of the Lord in vain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you got dudes out there say they follow the Lord, but they don't. They're really freaking a funk. You using his name in vain too. Go on. Do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee. And we hate you that hate your how. So how do we know you hate your how about shimmy how shy by the words that we're bringing out? These words that we're bringing out are not our own words. These are the words of the Heavenly Father. And you hate it, so we hate you. Mm -hmm. Read that again, in Come case on. they didn't hear that one. Go on. I'm going to start at 19. Right, go ahead. Surely thou shalt now slay the wicked. Take your time and read it. Read it there again and take your time. Psalms 139 and 19. Surely thou wilt slay the wicked, O Yahweh. Depart from me, therefore, ye bloody men. For they speak against thee wickedly, and thy enemies take thy name in vain. Do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee? That's right, we hate you. And the answer is, hell yeah, we hate them. They hate the Heavenly Father. All right? If you with, if you with Pride Month, if you with a so-called, well, in your mind, you're straight, because anybody who's with pride or gay shit, and you claim that you're not gay, you are gay. You're a faggot. Because nobody in their right mind going to say that shit is natural. Right. All right? We hate you. We hate them and we hate you too. 
All right? You, if you're with the so-called white man setup, we hate you. If you're a nigga, call yourself a Democrat or a Republican, we hate you. Like that little girl said back in the 70s when Esau held the little girls from coming into the neighborhood over there in Howard Beach. Yeah, yes, yes. Or some part of Queens. Uh, Ro Rose did. They didn't want the little black girls to come there, so they pushed them out. The little six-year-old black girl said what? I hate their guts. Yeah. She was in the right spirit. Was. You got dudes that can't even get into that spirit. Yeah. I got a quick one since you said that. Real quick. Come on uh, with it. There's Proverbs 29 and 27. An unjust man is an abomination to the just. Yeah, well, who? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And an unjust man is an abomination to the just. And who falls who falls into that line of unjust men? The so-called white men of the nations and two-thirds of Israel. Two-thirds of you niggas, West Indians, Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, Mexicans, the list goes on and on. Of the tribe of Israel, the tribes of Israel, which right now you ain't the tribes of Israel. You're a bunch of niggas and spicks. Generous. Degenerates. Basically, we ain't going to love you until the kingdom. When you come back as babies. Right now, we hate your guts. And we have the right. The Lord gave us the license. Read it again. Right, it says, an unjust man is an abomination. And you're unjust. Death. If you're with everything about this setup, you're unjust. Because to be just, you got to be in line with Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, through these scriptures. Mm -hmm. Any other way, you ain't just, you're wicked. If you believe, if you are, if you are a nigga talking about you won't vote for some of Kathy Hoku, all right, you're unjust and you're wicked. All right, putting a woman, a white woman over you. Bitch looking like a fucking woodchuck. <laughs> all right? The word, that word just is where you get the word justice. Mm -hmm. That's right. That word justice means to a man's of the law. And it goes back to whose law? Yahweh Washington, Yahweh Shai's law. Mm -hmm. Not the so-called, the so-called white man's laws are not just. Any nigga in jail will tell you that these laws ain't just. All right? That's right. And it says, and he that is upright in the way is abomination to the wicked. Yeah, so we're abomination to the so-called white man. That's why they want to take us off. That's why they kick brothers' shows off. Ultimately, they want to round us all up and lock us up and kill us. That's when the Lord's going to move on their asses. That's their ultimate goal. Is to roll on the men of the Lord that's pushing his word out there and, and do away with us. That was it on that one? I got Ezekiel 9 and 4. Bring it on in. Ezekiel chapter 9 verse 4. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst of us. That's what we do. We're out there teaching this word, whether we're on the highways and the byways mainly, or on the airways. We're preaching this word to the ones that are sighing and crying. That hates everything about this. So to come in this thing, you got to be totally against this setup. You can't be half fasting. You can't be like, oh, I hate homosexuals, but I do believe my wife is equal with me. No, 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 no. No, it don't work like that. You got to be totally against everything. Everything about this setup is supposed to irk you. You're supposed, be, you're supposed to be sighing and crying against all the abominations, not just one or just two. All of them. Go on. It says, you got to be crying against people. Are people eating pork, shrimp, lobster? And not only doing it, but gladly do it. You got mother efforts out there that know the scriptures say you ain't supposed to do that. They're going to do it anyway. Willfully, willfully wicked. Willfully ignorant. Go on. It says, um, and it says, and to the others, he said in my hearing, go ye after him through the city and smite and kill. That's the times we're coming into now, too. Go ye after them through the city and smite. Smite means to kill. Kill who? The ones that are totally with this, with the abominations. The ones that are not <coughs> sighing and crying. The Lord said the ones that are sighing and crying set a mark in their forehead. What's that mark? This word, this knowledge. And to the others in my hearing, go on. Go ye after them. Go ye after them through the city. Through the city and smite. Go on. Let not your eyes spare. Let not your eyes spare. Neither have you pity. 
Neither have you pity. Right, don't feel sorry for these bozos out here. And you know what we don't? Like I heard that situation over there in Jamaica where that whole family got their heads chopped off by their own relative. That's the judgment of Yahweh by Shimmy I was shot. And there's more of that to come. It's gonna get brutally ugly out here, man. And don't think, don't think. Yeah, one person saying one person something happened recently. And one person said, I, I, I don't believe in God no more, because why did this happen? That means you never knew that happened before. The Lord ain't dealing with you, chump. That's it. The Lord's the one that did it. Idiot. Come on. Slay utterly old and young. Old and the Lord don't discriminate on age brackets. <laughs> you could be an 88 year old demon or an 8 year old demon. Go on. And little children. And little children. All these, all, these, all these kids. You hear about kids falling out the damn 10th floor apartment. They're playing, they fucking around with the AC unit. And them and the AC unit go through the fucking hole. <laughs> Alright, that's the judgment of you. How about shit? Yeah, I was shy, man. Huh? You know? Slay utterly old and young. Slay utterly old and young. Go on. Both maids. Maids, young women. Go on. And little children. Little children. Go on. <coughs> and women. And women. A lot of you women gonna get touched. All right? By your how about shit, you shot. You're gonna be put to death out here. You're gonna be killed. And as the times are approaching, and, and it's happening now, but it's gonna happen in a larger scale. Go on. But come not near any man upon whom is the mark. But don't come, so the deaf angels are not to come upon any man upon whom is the mark or who's in his knowledge. The elect, they're not going to be touched by that death angel. What was it, 10,000 shall fall by thy side? And, yep. Hey, that, yeah. that, all, that all links in, man. I got something. Bring it on in. All right. First Thessalonians 1 and 6, it says, Seeing it is a righteous thing with the most high to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. And to you who read, are... Read that again. Huh? First Thessalonians 1 and 6, Seeing it is a righteous thing with the most high to So the Lord is about vengeance, man. He's going to use us to get our vengeance. Mm -hmm. The Lord said he'll use the hands of Israel against the hands of Esau. Against Esau. By the hand of the nation of Israel. So there's going to be a major race war out here, and Esau is going to lose this time around. The other race wars in the past, like you might watch Race War of 1919 and this and that, mm -hmm. and six crackers died, but 300 niggas died. Which we already play with them fucking numbers. Yeah. But it's true because the, they not, it, it's, not our, it's not our time. It wasn't our time yet <coughs> in those periods. Or you have any uprising throughout the history, throughout the 1800s. 1700s, 1600s. It's always the same kind of math. Um, 20 white people died, but 200 Negroes died. The Lord kept the scale on their favor. It was, it was their time to shine. Mm -hmm. But now they're going to take the scales gonna be tipped on the other way. Mm -hmm. Where you're going to go down and we're going to go up. Okay? There is going to be a race war coming up and you're going to lose it. It ain't going to be like the race war of 1919. You're going to go down this time, sucker. Tell you crackers out there. Esau, eat them. It says yeah, right? To, yeah. Come on this way. Get some water. You got it. It says to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. To, yeah, to pay back tribulation to them. <laughs> Who troubled us? The so-called white men troubled us. Mainly. And they're going to get, we're going to get recompense. They're going to get recompense, meaning what? What does recompense mean? Payback. Loosely translated. You're going to be paid back. Revenge. Go on. It says, and to you who are troubled, rest with us when Yahweh, when our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Read that again. Come. And to you who are troubled. And to you who are troubled of our people. That are troubled, meaning what? The, the, uh, the elect. Going back to what? The sign and the, the ones that are signed and crying. Why are they signing and crying? Why are they signing and crying? Because they're troubled about everything in this society. Starting with the so-called white man rulings, first and foremost. And everything else comes right along with it. Homosexual rights, gay, women rights, children rights, men, men are not men, turning men into little sissy faggots. I mean, I'll say this, man, like right, the times that we in now, tell me I'm wrong. 99% of these men out here wear crocs. Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> Every nigga you see out here wearing a fucking Crocs. That's yeah. a that's a homo. Yeah. Tight ass shorts. Yeah. Well, tight shorts. No, ice grilling you. Yeah. How you ice grilling somebody and you wearing Crocs, nigga? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Go ahead. It says to you who are troubled, rest with us. When so to you, so this word is only for the ones out there that are sighing and crying. To you that to you that are troubled, rest with us. How do you rest with us? Through this word, through this knowledge. Mm -hmm. Learning this word, and then learning it, digesting it, and then going out and teaching it. It says, when the Lord, Yahushua Mashiach, shall be revealed from heaven with, the, with his Oh, angels. and that's what we're waiting for, man. Yahushua to the brother said, crack those clouds mm -hmm. with the mighty angels, with those chariots. That's why there's been chariots, and brothers keep bringing it out from the apostles on down. All these chariot sightings out here to the point where the mainstream media is covering like on um, Fox News, they covered it every week. Yeah. About the chariots. And we've been pushing this out there for years. And hey, people looked at us like we're crazy. Right. Now y'all seeing it, right? But guess what? You won't see you won't feel it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well we go above that and get a bit and, and set them up nice. Come, come. It says, To you who are troubled, rest with us. Call the scripture. Come. First Thessalonians one and seven. To you who are, to you who are troubled, rest with us. When the Lord when the Lord, Yahushua Mashiach, be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels. Right, with those chariots. Revealed from heaven with those mighty angels. Go on. It says, in flaming fire. And flaming fire. Taking vengeance. Taking vengeance. On them that know not the Most High. And that's every, really, that's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Really, that's the whole, that's all, that's the whole American public. <laughs> that's all Amer American public and the rest of the world. But mainly here in America. That's why they, they, did a, they did a survey recently. They said that most young people in the 30s and 20s and teens don't, don't do trust that. in no God. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. At all. Yeah. Okay? Because they put that, that's a part of their agenda. Right. Because they want to push out, that's why they're going to come with laws to abolish the, abolish the, abolish the Bible. Because the Bible speaks against homosexuals. The Bible tells women to be in their place. The Bible tells you the man is the head. The Bible tells you you ain't supposed to eat pork and shrimp. Women ain't supposed to be hoes. Men ain't supposed to be feminish, wearing women's apparel, yeah. which Crocs fall into that. Crocs is women's apparel. When I was a kid, women used to wear, they, they weren't, they weren't them little, I mean, they were like these little, these shoes they used to wear that looked like Crocs. Right, right, mm -hmm. the nurse slippers. Yeah, 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 yeah. They were, they were ugly. Yeah. But women wore them. Now you got men wearing them. Proudly. Comfortably. Talking shit in some Crocs. With women's socks on. With women's <laughs> socks on. You got niggas going in the corner store. Talk about in the hood. You got you niggas going in the corner store With wearing bonnet. your girlfriend's Mickey Mouse slippers. With that bonnet. With a bonnet. <laughs> We're talking about, yo, give me some Lucy's, yo. That's why two-thirds have to be killed. You are going to be killed, man. Yeah. Right? Smoking yeah. some fucking blunts. Oh. Yeah, what they call them? Like, yo, give me the cinnamon one, yo. That one's good, yo. This this flavor blunt, that one. Y'all smoke all kind of shit now. Now, Esau gave y'all a green light to smoke all the weed you want. And they did that to keep you stupid. For yeah. two reasons. For them to make money off your stupid asses. And to keep you stupid. Don't follow them stupid ass rosters talking about weed gives you knowledge. It don't give you no goddamn knowledge. It makes you stupid. Yeah. And they're stupid. Yeah. Go on, bro. It says, and that obey not the gospel of our Lord. Right, right. and, and you can't God. say you ain't never heard this because this word is all out there, man. Y'all cannot say you never heard the word of the Heavenly Father coming from the brothers. You cannot say you never heard this. Read that again. Cut. It says, Verse eight, first Thessalonians on one and eight, and the flaming, the flaming fire taking vengeance upon them that know not the Most High, and that obey not the gospel of our Lord. So that fire is that's, that's, that's America. Yeah. Everything you read there defines America. That's why you had them niggas and spicks out there in the gay parade, strutting their stuff, boy. Yeah. They had fireworks shooting up their asses. They were <laughs> propelled by the fireworks that shooteth out of their asses, boy. <laughs> Literally. Twirling around. 
going. And it says, Who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of our Lord and from the glory of his power? And that everlasting destruction is by way of those thermonuclear missiles. That's why while y'all while y'all parading around and doing all this bullshit, these nations are getting ready to shoot fire on each other, man. The situation with Russia. You got Iran and um, Israel provoking Iran. And every, the prophecies are all falling into place. That was it on that one? Yeah, that was it on that one. Barack Obama. Matthew chapter 14, 13, verse 14. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which saith, By hearing ye shall hear, and shall not understand. And seeing ye shall see, and not perceive. Right, and what's that? This word that we're teaching. The majority of our people, you, you hear us talking, but you ain't getting what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. You see us, but you can't perceive what this is all. The Lord blinded you. Deliberately. He's only looking for his chosen few. We pray that we ourselves pray that we're a part of that number. Right. We ain't telling you we got a ticket on them chariots. We praying to be on there, man. Therefore, we persuade. Go on. For this people heart is wax gross. And that's mainly talking about who? Israel. Our people. You Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. Your heart is wax gross. You're totally with this setup. Now you got you niggas talking about you want to vote for Trump. You niggas are gone, man. You want Whitey to continue to rule over you. And that whole political world is a game against everybody. Right. And you niggas, you niggas should know that the political world was never for you. But you still act like it is. Like Whitey loves you. According to the Bible, they're getting ready. They, they want to destroy you. Well, they tell you themselves they want to destroy you. Yeah. They don't want you here anymore. There's no need for you. That's why systematically, they're pushing you out of them so-called neighborhoods of yours where you live. Those predominantly, predominantly um, Negro and Hispanic neighborhoods, like over here, over there in Brooklyn, they put up a new skyscraper, and everybody around the area is like, "Yo, that's gonna drive our rents up." Well, nigga, that's, that's the plan. <laughs> we don't want you here. They don't want they don't want you here in Bed Stuy and uh, Brownsville. That they want that, that East New York or wherever else you niggas is at Flatbush. They don't want you out. Where are we gonna go? Go to Mars. They don't. <laughs> all right? That ain't gonna work for you to go. The the, 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 the buck stops here. Go ahead. And their ears are dull of hearing. It's dull of hearing the word. Talking about our people. Two thirds. Go on. And their eyes, they have closed. Right. And who closed them? The Lord said he closed them himself. Go on. Lest at any time they should see their eyes and hear with their ears. That links up with that scripture. Isaiah. Isaiah. That links up with Isaiah. Go on. And should understand with their heart, and should be converted, and I should heal them. Right. So in other words, if they were to hear it and come back, then the Lord will heal them. Yeah. But the ones he don't want, he deliberately shut them so that don't happen. Right. Deliberately. Mm. The Lord says his ways are higher than your ways. So don't even question why. Why? Why did he do that? Mm -hmm. His ways are higher than, as as heaven is higher than the earth. So are his ways. Higher than your ways. He, don't, he doesn't owe you no explanation. Here is a so-called white man don't even give you an explanation. But you want the Lord to give you an explanation? Right. I got, I got news for you niggas and spits out there. Why don't you go ask the so-called white man for explanation of what he's doing to your asses? Like right now they got the gentrification shit going on. Why don't you question that? He ain't giving you no answer. Well, he gives you one answer with one word. Progress. That's it. Yeah. And a part of progress, you ain't in it. Yeah. It was just this year, he just passed the no lynching bill. I mean, the no lynching law. So damn, huh? I mean, I mean, that means that means Cracker could have lynched your ass yesterday, huh? <laughs> <laughs> <You know? laughs> it's 2022, and you just passed the no lynching law. Yo, you know what? They do that deliberately because they know niggas is retarded. <laughs> oh, look, they reach niggas, they get lynched, they get lynched no more. <laughs> that was it. I got something else. Cause they know you niggas are retarded. That's why they do shit. That's why they gave you Juneteenth. Cause they know you're retarded. 
<laughs> and made a fucking federal holiday. Go ahead. Second Ezra chapter 7, verse 20. For there be many that perish in this life because they despise the law of the Most High. That's right. So when they perish, they just, just know they despise the laws of Yahweh Bashin Yahushai. Scripture says no one dies innocent. Of our people, they die because they ain't right. They ain't with it. They're not in line with it, our Lord and Savior at all. Go on. It says because they have despised the law of the Most High that is set before them, for the Most High have given straight commandment to such as came, what they should do to live, even as they came. Right. And that's all in the law, statutes, and commandments. The Lord already set it out how we're supposed to live. The cer you got the ceremonial laws, the civil laws, mm -hmm. you know, go on. Even as they came and what they should observe to avoid punishment. To avoid punishment, but what? What does Israel do? The opposite, the opposite. Follow the ways of the, of the heathen. These nations are weaker than us, but, we but our people become weaker than the nations. Following their ways. Then they wonder why these nations um, are above us. The Lord did that to punish our asses. Because we do not want to follow the ways of Yahweh while Yahweh shot. You got more on that? Nevertheless, they were not obedient unto him, but spake against him. And they do that now. They do that now. When we teach this word, you come against us. You're not coming against us. You're coming against the Heavenly Father. We're pushing his word. We're not coming out here with our own... With our own um, Agenda. This is all the. This is all. This is the. This is the agenda of Yahweh by Shini was shot. Go on. And imagine vain things. And they imagine vain things. One of the vain things you niggas imagine is whitey ruling forever. Yeah. Even Esau be like, damn, maybe that might not rule forever. But you niggas, no, 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 <laughs> no, white man, no, no, no. Listen to me. You're going to rule. Damn. Sad. That's the niggas. They fight for the, they fight for Whitey more than he fights for himself. Mm -hmm. Starting with the black woman. That's why when you go to the court, any court, um, any court in the country, and go to the clerk's office, who's in there? The nigga woman, giving you attitude. Why is she doing that? Cause she's, pro she's protecting massa. There, there was a video circulating of a, a judge, a white judge, who was gonna sentence a, a young black man. So brother seen it, and. The prosecutor was so happy to be a white, I mean, a black woman. So this guy, the actual white man was going to show the man mercy. Say, understand, like, okay, you didn't grow up with a father, this, that, that, that. She was like, yo, no, 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 no. You being too lenient towards him. Yeah, see? So they, they go to your woman, <laughs> your black-ass woman that you niggas want to uphold so much. She hates your guts. She hates you. And, they, and when you get with them, they show you they hate you. And when they put you on child support and got you paying for a nigga that ain't even your kid. Yeah. All right, that goes on blatantly even amongst you Negroes and you Hispanics. They hate your guts and they love whitey. Go on. <coughs> and deceive themselves. You deceiving yourselves. Go on. By their wicked deeds. By your wicked deeds. You're deceiving yourself because little do you know, the Lord is about to come back and destroy you right along with your luck, with your master. Mm -hmm. Isaiah the 13th chapter tells you, he that is joined unto him shall fall by that sword, right? You join unto him, you're going to get the same punishment that he's going to get. The difference is you're going to come back in the kingdom right. He's going to go into slavery. Any more? And said of the Most High that he is not and knew not his ways. Well, I thought always brings this up, and it's the truth. There's more Negro and Hispanic, Native American atheist, atheist, atheists than ever. Mm. Even though you niggas always bugged out in your fucking religions and shit, you always said you believed in God. Now, not one of y'all believe in the heaven, no, no, no God. And it, what was it said in Psalms, the 14th chapter, the first verse? No, the fool have said in his heart that there is no God. They even mentioned that scripture on the Twilight Zone. Oh, no, what was that? The, um, the obsolete man, that episode. But his law have they despised. The, his laws, yeah, look, brother, you got to wear a beard on your face. 
not because it's a fucking trend. It's because of the, the, the laws of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. Look, brother, cut that long hair off. You got dudes that call themselves priests. They got a problem with that. Yeah. Yeah. But his law have they despised and denied his covenant. In his statutes have they not been faithful and have not performed his works. So there you go. That's why bad things... Why, why are Negroes so bad lucky? <laughs> there it is right there. We turn our back. The Lord, we turn our backs on the Heavenly Father by doing wickedness. He turned his back on Israel. But we're living in a time now where the Lord's going to deliver his elect of Israel and destroy this place and set up his kingdom through his son, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. That was it. All right. I got something. Go ahead. Hey. All right, and, and, and with that one right here, we can, we can end it off with this last one. Unless you got something. Okay, okay so you're talking about judgment. Yeah. Um, this is Ecclesiastes 3 and 16. I'm going to start at 15. That which has been is now, mm -hmm. and that with, and that which is to be had already been. Right, there's nothing new on the earth. History repeats itself for the same spirits always come back. Nothing new. Go on. And the Most High required that which is past. And the Lord requires the past. So leave that in the past. Leave that in the past. Man, I'm listening to the news yesterday. Hey, could you believe this? They just got, they just locked up a, a Nazi Germany soldier. Mother F is 101 years old. <laughs> and, they, and, they, and, they, and they locked his ass up. Matter of fact, we can find that article. Yeah. I heard that shit yesterday. So they can't forget. Nah. The dude's 101. What's he going he can't put you in Auschwitz. What's that place called Auschwitz? He can't put you in them 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 um, them, 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 um, them camps. That's ancient history. But no, you can't forget that. But you tell Negroes to forget what happened to them just a couple of decades ago. Well, what's happening to them now? Forget about that. That's all in the past. You got it? Get, get the article? Yeah, 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 yeah. Read, let's read the caption on that article. We ain't making this shit up. Read that. Former Nazi camp guard. A former Nazi camp guard. Go on. 101 years old. He's 101 years old. Go on. Given five year jail term. A five, so in case a nigga live to 106. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right, they're going to do five years. And by the way, Six million of them weirdos ain't dying that shit. That's a lie. And more and more people are pushing that out there, man. That's a hoax. And they're not the people of the Lord either, man. Dude's 101. Dude, ask him what his name is. He couldn't tell you. Huh? Eh? Eh? And they gave him five years. Go on. Give him five years jail term for Holocaust war crimes. Holocaust war crimes in the 1930s. Go on. I mean, that was it. Yeah. But see, the so, so the point, reason why I brought that out, because the so-called white man, he requires a pass when he want to do it. Right. But when it comes to you Negroes and Spicks, you're supposed to forget what he did to you. And, and you and you willingly do it. Because it's, it's mainly niggas that say that shit. That was in the past. Nah, we, we different now. No, you're not. You're worse. Right. Watch, matter of fact, you watch old documentaries with Negroes speaking up on um, social, social shit. Mm -hmm. Go back to the '60s. They spoke. They spoke. Um, they, they, they um, they, they were um, what was that word? Ar they articulated their words properly. Right. I'm talking about the hoodlums now. I ain't even talking about no Uncle Tom nigger. I'm talking about the ones that lived in the hood. Right. They were articulating their words and breaking down shit. Right. You niggas now can't even talk. And you wear Crocs. <laughs> I'm gonna read what he allegedly you, did. You degenerate bastards. <laughs> what, did, what, what, did, what did this guy do? Yosef. Yosef. Yosef Schwitz. Schwitzowitz, yeah. What did he do? Is accused of involvement in the. Wait a minute, wasn't that Yosef Schwitz? Yes, I was just Wait, he's a so called Jew. Yeah. <laughs> they look at their own people. Yeah. yeah. 
Can I say this? Go ahead. They probably knew this guy, quote unquote, did it for a long time, but wait till he gets to a certain age. You know what? I'm going to meet somebody to take the fall guy. But my thing is this. <laughs> all his comrades and even the victims and his they're all dead. Yes. So who's the one that remembers this and they weren't around? Mm-hmm. You see? So read about Yosef real quick. <laughs> Yosef Schwitz. Schwitz is accused of involvement in the murders of 3,518 Yeah, whatever, whatever, man. At the sh- sh- so, yeah. hold up, at his trial, he can't even speak for himself. Nah. You know what I'm saying? This happened in 1942. That motherfucker want to be dead right now. <laughs> 1942. 19, but, uh, all right, so 1942. A person that was born, a person that was born in 1942 is 80 years old right now. Yeah. They're celebrating their 80th, if they lived that long. Right. They're celebrating their 80th birthday, right? Going to the doctor to get their back, to get some fucking, what do you call that shit, injection in their back. Mm-hmm. All right? Talking about they got back pains and shit. And this dude, so they, they're bringing him up on truck from 80 years ago. And he ain't even, he killed 3,000 people. That's a lie. But he can't say not, nothing because he's 101. Go on. No, that was it. Yeah, that's all bullshit, man. So, uh, so going back to Ecclesiastes 3 and 15, it says, That which has been is now, and that which is to be had already been. And the Most High required that which is past. So the Lord requires that which is past. So everything the so-called white men have done to us, even though they tell you niggas to shut up about it, the Lord didn't forget it. And he's going to move on your ass for it. The Lord said, as I live. <laughs> Go on. And moreover, I saw under the sun the place of judgment, that wickedness was there. And, Go on. And the place of righteousness, that iniquity was there. That's right. Here in America, over there, in the whole world, Israel, the whole world, man. Wickedness is all over because why? The wicked is controlling things. Job 9 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Go on. Verse 17. And I said in my heart, the most high shall judge the righteous and the wicked. But there is a time there for every purpose and every work. That's right. Oh, yeah. That's time right. and every purpose and every work. Finish off with that one. Jeremiah 30 and 16. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. Matter of fact, Zakar, you going into that one. Con. Since, since, you know, since we read like everything that the Lord um, requires from the past, so everybody that devoured the nation of Israel, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, is going to be devoured. Meaning you're going to be the prey real soon. That's right. Because the Lord is requiring, he's going to get back that blood that was been shed unjustly. All right, that never been answered. It says, and all that adversary, every one of them, shall go into captivity. All our, all our enemies are going to go into slavery. Adversary means enemy. So who's our enemy number one? Esau, mm-hmm. the so-called white man. That's how you always hear us say you can go into captivity. We're not just saying that because we just, it sounds cute. It's going to happen. You're going to be our slaves. Read that again. Con, it says, all that adversaries. All our adversaries. They're our enemies. They're not our friends. You got niggas talking about, oh, the white man's my friend, he gave me a job. Yeah, that's a simple buckethead nigga. All right? Go ahead. Every one of them. Every one of them. Not no, the, the, the so-called good ones in the back. Because according to you niggas, see, the old white man, they got the good ones. <laughs> and then fucking um, Stevie Wonder, blind ass, and Paul McCartney, did that, they did that song when I was a kid. Ebony and Ivory. Ebony and Ivory. <laughs> People are the same wherever you go. They're good and bad. That's bullshit. Esau is all bad. The so-called white man is all bad. When he's good, you gotta watch him. Yeah, yeah. Cause the scripture tell you his words are smoother than butter. Mm-hmm. But what was in his heart? Motives. He got arterial motives. He wanna use you for some slave shit. Hey, you wanna come come to my bank? Come to my banquet. Oh my god. You're inviting me to your banquet? And you couldn't find out he wants you over there to serve the drinks. Or to or to vacuum the rug when everybody needs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pick up all the peanut shells and shit. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
That's right. It says, um, it says, every one of them shall go to captivity, and they that spoil thee shall be spoiled. Did, we, did that the so-called white man spoil us? And that goes back to the speech you read earlier in um, Thessalonians, mm -hmm. right? What they what they sow they shall reap. Right. Reap what they what, reap what you sow, rather, right? So they're gonna get what they're gonna get what's gonna come to them. And we're reading the Bible here. We're not reading no. All we're reading here is the Bible. Go on. And all that pray upon thee will I give for a prey. That's right. They pray. They praying on you right now, kicking you out of your neighborhood, and telling you, yo, you on your own, finding with. And right now, all rents are high. The interest rate that went up. Yep. You can't, man. They said the average apartment now is two. Is that the two? In um, New York City, the median is at two thousand dollars now at an apartment. So they push you out of your little hood. Where are you moving to? And if you work at Target or Walmart, you can't move nowhere, really. You can't even afford to get a damn cardboard box house. Oh. So, they, so Esau got you in a bind, man. Mm -hmm. What's that? Now, Tesla is about to lay off a whole bunch of people. Yeah. Amazon. Of, that was a, wait a minute. Those, those were the push. Those were the, tech, the techie jobs, right? Techie jobs are laying your asses off. It says, for I will restore health unto thee. Right, so the men of the Lord are going to be restored health. The ones of us that are sick, and all of us are sick, let's call it what it is. Right, some more than others. The Lord's going to restore us. That's a part of our faith. And I will heal thee with, heal thee for thy wounds. Right, and it starts start spiritually, and ultimately physically by ways of what? Our bodies being changed. We're not going to go in the kingdom with these fucked up bodies, man. That's why those of you out there that are proud, you 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 ain't got a clue. You ain't shit. You drop dead right now. Right. You can't control that. How you how are you proud? King Solomon said he counted everything vanity. Go on. Save Yahweh, because they call thee an outcast, saying, This is Zion whom no man seeketh after. Right, that's how it was for, for these past hundreds of years. It, all these nations start with Esau, mainly e Edom, the so-called white men. Any other nations, they, there's, there's no what power. Nobody's protecting these people. They're just out. They're just out there for us to um, take set on. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why over there in the islands, you got these Chinese, the Chinese control a lot of them islands where you Nick New Jakes are at because there's not one out there to protect you. But little do they know, the Lord is about to come back to, to destroy. And to save his elect. And with that, man, we pray you, brethren, are edified. All right? And we'll say all praises and glory is due to you. How about Shin Yahu Shai? All right? And um, much love to all you brethren out there. Shalom. 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 Hit the X on the right. Hit the X. Then uh. hit that first and then hit done. Yeah, push it hard. Then hit okay. OK.